Over a dozen figures were suspended in the azure sky. They were all scattered and their gazes were carefully scanning the mountain range below. These were all people who had come chasing after Xiao Yan. Each of them carried an incomparable anger and killing intent. However, they were unaware of just what Xiao Yin was thinking at this moment. Xin Yun, didn't you say that that brat had been struck by your blood lightning seal? You should be able to detect his exact spot. Where is he? A red-clothed, yellow-faced, old man finally turned his head furiously demanded information from the gray-clothed, old man beside him after failing to find any traces despite having searched for a while. Chin Yun's expression was a little gloomy at this moment. He had sensed that his connection with the blood lightning seal was weakening on his way here, especially when he had just entered the area around the mountain range. That connection had been completely broken at that moment. Hence, he could only rely on the route transmitted by the slight connection earlier to search. However, it was a futile effort despite having spent such a long time. I don't know just what method that brat used to remove the blood lightning seal that I left in his body. Xin Yun gloomily replied. Honestly speaking, he was feeling extremely shocked at this moment. The difficulty involved in removing the blood lightning seal was something that he understood extremely well. However, it had been dispelled within less than half a day. This was the first time that he had been met with such an occurrence in all his years. Didn't you have great confidence in your blood lightning seal? If I knew that this would be the case, the old me would have directly given chase. Hong Tian Xiao became furious upon hearing this. If they were to lose the connection, how would they find that brat after he had fled a great distance? What are you roaring for? You give chase? Humph. Would you not have long since given chase if you had not been afraid of the puppet in that brat's hand? Chin Yun frowned and spoke in a somewhat irritated manner. You, you are speaking nonsense. Would the old me be afraid of that brat's puppet? Hong Tian Xiao furiously cried out. Once we find him, you can go and deal with that puppet. Chin Yun coldly laughed. He immediately waved his hand and a deep voice sounded. All of you should head down and search the place an inch at a time. That brat is definitely still in this mountain range. I don't believe that he can flee under my eyes. The dozen experts in the sky were startled for a moment upon hearing Chin Yun's orders before they turned their gazes to Hong Tian Xiao. They were the people invited by the Hong clan. Naturally, they needed to hear Hong Tian Hao's instruction. Do as he said. Hong Tian Xiao swung his sleeves and commanded them. The dozen plus invited helpers from the Hong clan finally cupped their hands and spread out after hearing the order. They slowly descended, formed a fan shape, and began searching the mountain range. Two human figures quietly flashed and appeared within a lush green forest behind Hong Tian Hao's group while they were searching for Xiao Yan. The lady among them was surprisingly Han Shui. Standing beside her was a white-clothed old man with a bitter smile. The old man's gaze passed through the gap between the branches and looked at Qin Yun's group in the distant sky. A solemn expression flashed in his eyes. Great-grandfather, will they find Xiao Yin? Han Shui's searing hot eyes looked at the invited helpers of the Hong clan as they searched the place carefully before involuntarily asking in a concerned manner. Ugh, girl, although the old me was unable to endure your tantrum and ended up bringing you over to take a look, I will still say some ugly words first. If any situation occurs when the time comes, I will try my best to lend a hand on the precondition that no one will discover my identity. You should understand, great-grandfather. It is fine if it was just that Hong Tian Xiao. However, Qin Yun is a member of the Wind Lightning Pavilion. Our Han clan cannot offend that kind of faction, the white-clothed, old man sighed as he spoke with a somewhat solemn face. I have taken the risk to bring you over mainly because that little fellow helped our Han clan. The old me does not like to owe another a favor. Otherwise, regardless of how nice you put it, I will not treat a big matter like offending the Wind Lightning Pavilion as child's play. Han Shui gently bit her lower red lip with the back of her teeth as she quietly nodded. She softly said, Shuera knows her limits. At, at that time, great-grandfather should intervene based on the situation. If it is not possible, then just leave. Her round eyes had immediately become much redder at the end of her words. The white clothed old man once again laughed bitterly when he saw this manner of hers. He rubbed Han Shui's smooth black hair and sighed. Ugh. By being able to make my little granddaughter act like this, this little fellow called Xiao Yin really does have some skill. Han Shui's pretty face revealed embarrassment when she heard his words. She was just about to speak when a bang sounded in the distant mountain range. 
Upon the sounding of the explosion, numerous whistling sounds began to be transmitted from the distance. One could even hear a faint cry of, He is here. Has he been discovered? Han Shui's hands were tightly clenched. Brat, I thought that you had wished to hide for an entire lifetime. Chin Yin spoke with ridicule. His figure was suspended in the sky as his sinister gaze looked at the young man who was slowly walking out of a cave. There are really quite a lot of people who have come. Looks like Elder Chen really hates me. Xiao Yan's gaze swept over the sky around him. Finally, they paused on Hong Tian and Ao's body while he spoke with a smile. Once you land in my hands, you will clearly experience the hatred of the old me. Chin Yun viciously spoke. The faint pain that was being transmitted from his hand was just like a thorn ruthlessly piercing into his heart. That humiliation caused the killing intent in his heart to surge. Brat, this time around, the old me wants to see just how you will be able to flee. I have promised my nephew that I will break all your limbs and bring you to him. Hong Tian Yao's gaze revealed a fierce glow as he stared at Xiao Yan. His sinister voice caused the surrounding helpers invited by the Hong clan to feel a chill in their hearts. Xiao Yan lips curled. However, the smile of his contained a frosty chill. Looks like the two of you really wish to render me dead and will definitely not give up. In that cause, allow me to take both of your lives. Hong Tian Xiao immediately laughed upon seeing the smile on Xiao Yan's face. He mocked, arrogant young man. Do you really think that a puppet can save your life? The smile on Xiao Yan's face involuntarily became a little stranger when he heard this. He flicked his finger and a silver glow flashed. The earth demon puppet also surfaced in front of him. Seeing the appearance of this earth demon puppet, the helpers of the Han clan in the sky hurriedly withdrew a little. They were also extremely terrified of this fierce puppet, which had broken off one of Chin Yun's finger. Hong Tian Yao's eyes also solidified slightly when the earth demon puppet appeared. His face became slightly solemn. The troublesomeness of this puppet was something that he was also clearly aware of. Hong Tian Xiao, since you said Tha's words earlier, will leave this puppet to you. Leave that brat to me to deal with. Chin Yun's eyes also flickered slightly as they stared at the earth demon puppet. There was a faint fear within them. Finally, he turned his head and spoke to Hong Tian Xiao. Hong Tian Yao's face immediately twitched a little upon hearing these words. He inhaled a deep breath of air and coldly laughed. Leave it to the old me. You, on the other hand, should finish that brat off as soon as possible. Relax, this time around. The old me will let him know that offending the Wind Lightning Pavilion was his greatest mistake. Chen Yun's gaze looked at Xiao Yin in a savage manner as he spoke in a dense voice. Xiao Yin merely smiled in the face of these two old fellows' ill intent. His finger gently rubbed the snow white ring without leaving a trace. After which, he suddenly pointed at Hong Tian Xiao and softly said, Kill him. The earth demon puppet in front of him stomped heavily on the ground just after Xiao Yan's voice had sounded. The mountain rocks cracked, and the earth demon puppet's body shot toward the sky like a fire arrow. It violently flew toward Hong Tian Xiao. Humph. Allow the old me to see just how great is this puppet. Hong Tian Yao's face immediately twitched a little upon hearing these words. He inhaled a deep breath of air and coldly laughed. Leave it to the old me. You, on the other hand, should finish that brat off as soon as possible. Relax, this time around. The old me will let him know that offending the Wind Lightning Pavilion was his greatest mistake. Chen Yun's gaze looked at Xiao Yin in a savage manner as he spoke in a dense voice. Xiao Yin merely smiled in the face of these two old fellows' ill intent. His finger gently rubbed the snow white ring without leaving a trace. After which, he suddenly pointed at Hong Tian Xiao and softly said, kill him. The earth demon puppet in front of him stomped heavily on the ground just after Xiao Yan's voice had sounded. The mountain rocks cracked, and the earth demon puppet's body shot toward the sky like a fire arrow. It violently flew toward Hong Tian Xiao. Humph. Allow the old me to see just how great is this puppet. Hong Tian Xiao coldly laughed when he saw the earth demon puppet coming at him with a fierce momentum. Fiery red dochi surged out of his body like a flame in all directions. His hand was clenched and a two-meter-long scimitar appeared in his hand. The scimitar emitted a hot force when it was swung and violently hacked at the Earth Demon Puppet. The scimitar hacked at the Earth Demon Puppet's shoulder. However, only some sparks were created. A white scar also appeared where the blade landed. Hong Tian Xiao was slightly startled when he saw this. He tightly regripped the scimitar. He then collided head-on with the Earth Demon Puppet, and an intense big battle erupted. 
Qin Yun slowly lowered his body while Hong Tian Xiao was pestering the earth demon puppet. He remained suspended in the sky just in front of Xiao Yin. His dried face revealed a frightening smile as he slowly spoke in a dense voice. Brat, you have broken off a finger of mine. Later, I will completely cripple all ten fingers of yours. Xiao Yin smiled faintly. His feet stomped on the ground as his body rose. A short while later, he drifted and landed on a large tree. Hong Chen's hands were merely placed behind him as he watched Xiao Yan's actions. His eyes revealed ridicule as he watched Xiao Yin move from the way he saw it. Xiao Yin was merely a mouse struggling before it died in this situation. Moreover, he was the cat playing with the mouse, however, this was merely his wishful thinking. Xiao Yin completely ignored the ridicule in Xin Yun's eyes. His hands were slowly spread apart as he gradually shut his eyes. A soft mutter sounded within his heart. Old Mr. Yao, please temporarily lend your strength to me. A soft mutter slowly sounded. A moment later, the snow-white ring on Xiao Yan's finger shook gently. Immediately, an extremely majestic and vast spiritual strength moved along Xiao Yan's arm, wildly surging into him in a flood-like manner. With the pouring of the majestic spiritual strength into Xiao Yan's body, the space around him had suddenly, but slowly become distorted. A monstrous aura that was like an awakened emperor that dominated this world. Qin Yun, those helpers from the Hong clan around, and even Hong Tian Xiao, who was fighting the earth demon puppet, felt a momentary dullness within their heads the instant this monstrous aura appeared. Immediately, shock that was difficult to restrain surged from deep within their hearts in a manner similar to wild grass. The majestic aura rippled around Xiao Yan's body while the entire mountain range trembled under this frightening aura. Occasionally, a trembling whimper-like roar sounded softly within the mountain forest. The roar contained a terrified feeling within it. With the powerful spiritual strength within Xiao Yan's body, his toes slowly left the treetop. He was suspended in the empty air in the sky. Perhaps it was because of his body being filled with too much spiritual strength, but a silver-white color gradually surfaced in his eyes. This silver-white color became denser until his eyes basically radiated this color. Looking from a distance, his original black eyes had transformed into a pair of silver-white eyes that appeared extremely cold. The rising aura continued for a moment before it came to a slow stop. Xiao Yin lowered his head slightly and looked at Qin Yun, whose expression had drastically changed. He slowly asked, Aren't you planning on crippling my ten fingers? The voice was not loud, but it possessed a pressure that seemed to unroll from his spirit, causing Qin Yun's spirit to tremble as a result. What has this brat done? Why is it that he has suddenly become so strong? Looking at this aura, it is likely that he has the strength of a seven-star or even eight-star dozo. Is this real or not? Qin Yun's expression changed rapidly. The majestic aura that had unfurled from Xiao Yan's body had indeed caused him to be shocked and filled with disbelief. He was certain that Xiao Yan's actual strength should be at the Dou Wang class. However, his strength had shot up like a burning arrow in a sudden manner and reached such a frightening level. From the way he saw it, this was a ridiculous thing. Doubt flashed across Jin Yun's heart. He really had difficulty believing that Xiao Yin could increase so many levels within such a short period of time. Regardless of how the grade of a secret technique is, it would likely be difficult for it to possess such a frightening effect. Could the strength of this Dou Qi be only superficial? Qin Yun's eyes were dark and solemn. He refused to believe that this game of cat and mouse had completely reversed within these short few minutes. Today, the old me shall see whether this strength of yours is real or if it is merely just an act. A cold glint flashed across Jin Yun's eyes. He clenched his fist and lightning flickered. It agglomerated into a lightning mace. His body moved and a faint lightning roar resounded. Xiao Yan's eyes were calm as he looked at Qin Yun on the ground from the sky. An instant later, his hands suddenly reached back. A powerful spiritual strength surged before agglomerating into a five-foot-large spiritual cannonball in his palm. Xiao Yan's arm trembled strangely and the spiritual cannonball emitted a bang before shooting out. The invisible spiritual cannonball had just been shot out when it suddenly exploded around ten feet from him. An old figure appeared in a miserable fashion before swiftly pulling back. The shock in Qin Yun's face had finally reached its peak while he withdrew. That attack earlier informed him that the majestic aura of Xiao Yin in front of him was genuine. It was not an act put out by relying on some strange qi method. He is using spiritual strength. However, 
Even some tier 7 alchemists have difficulty possessing such a majestic spiritual strength. Just what is the background of this brat? Chen Yun's heart felt somewhat uneasy. Ever since he had exchanged blows with Xiao Yan, the other party was unfathomable, appearing like a bottomless pit despite only possessing the strength of a Dou Wang on the surface. A puppet, heavenly flame, and now this unusually terrifying spiritual strength. Each of these things only existed in legend when it came to an ordinary person. However, all of them actually appeared on him, forcing Chin Yun to withdraw the underestimation that he had made in his heart. Regardless of what method he used to cause his strength to soar, there will definitely be a time limit to it. Now, it is not wise to fight head-on with him. It is better to leave first and wait until his strength is weakened. It would not be too late to attack at that time. Chin Yun swiftly suppressed the turmoil in his Dou Qi that was shocked by the spiritual strength earlier. After which, his mouth emitted a sharp whistle. He turned his body, used all his might to activate the 3000 lightning movement, and finally transformed into an afterimage. After which, he rushed out of the mountain range, fleeing for his life as he did so. Hong Tian Shao, who was battling the earth demon puppet, and the many helpers from the Hong clan in the sky, experienced a slight change in their expression when they heard this whistle. All of them knew that this was the signal to retreat. Damn it. Just what did this brat do? His strength has actually soared to such a level. Hong Tian Shao cursed furiously in his heart. The majestic aura that permeated the sky also caused his mind to tremble a little. Dou Qi immediately surged in his body as his scimitar danced, forming a fiery red blade curtain in front of him that forced the earth demon puppet back. After which, Hong Tian Shao also hurriedly pulled back. Xiao Yin coldly laughed when he saw Chen Yun fleeing. He was indeed unable to maintain this condition for long. Hence, once he activated it, he needed to achieve something. Since this old fellow hated him to the core, he was not someone that could be left alive. A Dozone class enemy would ultimately bring about some trouble. It was better to end it once and for all. A killing intent flashed across Xiao Yan's heart. He raised his hand and pointed it at Qin Yun, who had turned into an afterimage and fled. After which, Xiao Yan abruptly clenched it. When Xiao Yan's hand was clenched, the empty space a thousand feet away suddenly became distorted before swiftly transforming into a substance-like spatial wall. Chin Yun, who had unleashed his maximum speed, did not discover the spatial wall that had suddenly appeared. He collided violently against it. The special rebounding strength of the spatial wall shot him. This fierce and powerful force shook Chin Yun until he felt his mouth becoming sweet. He forcefully swallowed after becoming aware of the sweetness. Chin Yun's body had just rebounded when he recovered. The first thing he did was to swiftly land his body and flee into the forest. However, before his body could land on the ground, a human figure appeared in front of him in a ghost-like manner. A fist that was covered with a vast and mighty spiritual strength smashed over without any fancy moves. Space ripples materialized wherever the fist traveled as numerous lines began to spread. They appeared like tiny black snakes filled with a frightening strength which chilled one's heart. Chin Yun's expression changed drastically in the face of this plain fist. He let out a furious roar as Dou Qi surged out of his body. It agglomerated and formed a thick lightning barrier in front of him. The fist violently smashed the light barrier and the majestic spiritual strength unleashed an extremely frightening strength, like a volcano, before trickily shaking the lightning barrier until it burst apart. The remaining strength also splashed across Jin Yun's body in a lightning-like manner. A mouthful of fresh blood was spat out as Yun Chin's body smashed into the ground by the ruthless punch. His body rubbed against the forest below, forming a deep ravine that was over a hundred meters long. The trees along the way were all completely blasted apart as sawdust scattered in all directions. After borrowing Tian Huazunja's strength, Xiao Yin was able to reach the level of a 7 or even 8 star Dou Zone while Chen Yun was merely a 4 star Dou Zone. The gap between every star in the Dou Zone class was extremely vast. Yet, Chen Yun wished to fight head on with Xiao Yin. It was natural that his ending would be extremely miserable. The disheveled Chen Yun stopped his body with much difficulty before throwing up a mouthful of fresh blood. The firm punch of Xiao Yin had caused him to suffer a serious injury. Moreover, that spiritual strength seemed to be unusually hot and violent. Some of the spiritual strength that had invaded his body had already began a destruction on a great scale. Chin Yun's condition was extremely terrible upon facing this combination of external and internal attacks. 
If this continues, I will really die in that little bastard's hand. I cannot continue to be entangled with him. Chen Yun's eyes contained a viciousness as he wiped off the blood trace from the corner of his mouth. He was just about to flee into the mountain range when that ghost-like figure once again appeared in front of him like the maggot in one's tarsal bones. Xiao Yin, the Wind Lightning Pavilion will not let you off if you kill me. Chen Yun hurriedly cried out. His heart felt a shock upon seeing Xiao Yin chasing him once again. It is likely that they will not let me off even if I don't kill you. Xiao Yin smiled at Chen Yun. However, this smile was just like a vicious demon that chilled one's heart from Chen Yun's point of view. Just what does it take for you to let me off? As long as you state your condition, before Chen Yun finished his sentence, Chen Yun's body shot backwards. A couple of fist-sized silver-colored beads were ruthlessly tossed toward Xiao Yin. The silver beads had just been thrown out when they suddenly exploded. Powerful airwaves flattened the forest within a hundred-meter radius. Chen Yun's figure swiftly fled into the forest after having thrown the lightning beads. However, he did not have the time to sigh in relief when a strange human figure once again appeared. A leg that contained powerful spiritual strength was swung. The force on it was slammed viciously into Chen Yun's head. Chen Yun spat out a mouthful of fresh blood when the wild and violent strength erupted. His body flew backwards and broke a countless number of enormous trees along the way. Hong Tian Sha looked at Chen Yun, who was basically unable to retaliate, from the distant sky. His expression also changed. Ancestor, should we lend a hand? An invited helper swallowed a mouthful of saliva as he softly asked. Hong Tian Yao's eyes changed rapidly. He immediately looked at the earth demon puppet that had been delayed a little by a couple of people from the Hong clan before clenching his teeth and giving a command. Retreat. Don't bother with him. That little fellow's strength is far too frightening now. Adding this to the puppet, we will only be courting death regardless of how many of us step forward. After saying this, Hong Tian Xiao decisively waved his hand, turned around, and fled without any hesitation. The other people from the Hong clan behind also hurriedly followed. Chen Yun's entire body was covered with mud as he climbed up from the ground with much difficulty. He appeared extremely miserable with fresh blood flowing down from his head. Additionally, he looked ferocious. He had suffered a serious injury after having received a couple of full force attacks from Xiao Yan. Even the veins in his body had begun to show signs of breaking. Xiao Yan's spiritual strength was an extremely destructive with the support of the heavenly flame. Xin Yan panted heavily through his mouth. The space in front of him rippled and Xiao Yan's figure once again slowly appeared. Are you still able to run? Xiao Yan's voice was completely emotionless as his silver-white colored eyes stared at Xin Yun, which possessed a weary aura. Little bastard. Since you wish to kill the old me, the old me shall drag you to die with me. Chen Yun's eyes gradually turned crimson. A craziness surged onto his face. Immediately, he charged angrily toward Xiao Yin. His body also swiftly swelled, appearing like a balloon that was about to explode. Xiao Yin frowned slightly in the face of Chen Yun's crazy act. Xiao Yin's feet moved as he looked at the swelling Chen Yun, who was swiftly pouncing over. His body quickly rushed into the air. At the same time, his palms were opened and a thread of silver-colored spatial strength flashed and appeared. The space around Chen Yun suddenly fluctuated intensely as the soft cry sounded. It suddenly stirred an intense ripple and the invisible space immediately seemed to have become substance-like, transforming into a spatial prison that wrapped around Chen Yun. Even an ordinary five-star dozone zone would have difficulty agglomerating such a substance-like spatial prison. However, Xiao Yin was able to create it after borrowing the strength of Tian Huizunzha. Of course, the most important reason for this was that his body already possessed a thread of spatial strength. He used it as a medium in order to maneuver the spatial strength flowing in nature. The spatial prison had just been formed when Chen Yun's body suddenly swelled to a frightening extent. Immediately, a soul-stirring explosion suddenly appeared. A frightening energy wave wildly swept in all directions like a tidal wave. The spatial prison resisted it a little before it burst apart. The entire mountain range shook intensely, appearing as though an earthquake had occurred. Numerous thousand-foot-large cracks spread out like spider web. The entire mountain range had descended into a panic at this moment. The strength involved when a four-star dozong self-destructed was extremely frightening. Xiaoyan merely managed to temporarily dodge the attack of this frightening energy storm. His body flashed and appeared in the distant sky. His eyes revealed a solemnness as he looked at the rampant energy wave. 
After this action by Chen Yun, this entire mountain range would likely turn into ruins. Hong Tian Xiao, who was fleeing the mountain range, also sensed this frightening energy storm. His expression changed almost instantly. That old fellow Chin Yun actually self-destructed by being able to force him until such an extent that brat is really too frightening. Hong Tian Xiao suddenly felt a little bitterness in his mouth. If he knew that this brat would be so troublesome to deal with from the start, he would definitely not have made enemies with him. Possessing such an enemy really caused him to have difficulty eating and sleeping in ease. However, this world did not have any medicine for regret. This was something that Hong Tian Xiao was also clearly aware of. Moreover, he was not an indecisive person. A fierce glow immediately flashed across his eyes as he muttered to himself, This brat is indeed extremely strange. However, by killing Chen Yun, you will not be able to feel nice. The Wind Lightning Pavilion will not sit back and watch an elder be killed. At that time, he he. With a sinister smile, Hong Tian Xiao decisively turned his head and waved his hand. His fleeing speed once again increased. The white clothed old man at a certain spot in the mountain range was also shocked by Chin Yun's crazy act. He hurriedly pulled Han Shui as his body penetrated the mountain forest in a lightning-like manner. Finally, his figure flashed and landed on a mountain peak. He looked down at the rampant energy storm in the mountain range from high above and involuntarily inhaled a breath of cool air. This old fellow is really crazy. Han Shui was similarly shocked by the destructive energy below until her pretty face turned somewhat pale. The self-destruction of a doze zone was not something that just anyone would be able to personally witness. By being able to force a doze zone to take the dead in path of self-destruction, this young man called Xiao Yin is indeed extremely terrifying. The white-clothed old man slowly raised his head, looked at the blurry figure in the sky, and spoke in a somewhat hushed manner. Is he all right? Han Shui's eyes also swept over the sky. Her eyesight was far inferior to the white cloth, old man. Naturally, she was unable to see Xiao Yan's figure. What can happen to him? That spatial seal had eliminated Qin Yun's intentions of dying with him. The white cloth, old man shook his head before immediately saying, however, since he has killed Qin Yun, it is likely that he has truly become enemies with the Wind Lightning Pavilion. That Hong Tian Xiao will definitely announce the news to everyone when he gets back. Given the style of the Wind Lightning Pavilion, they will definitely dispatch experts to kill Xiao Yan. Han Shui's hand involuntarily clenched upon hearing this. Her face revealed a worried expression. All right, girl, there is no need to be overly worried. This little fellow is not an ordinary person. He kills decisively and does not possess a weak character. With such a character and his strength, it is likely that he will be able to do extremely well even in the central plains, where all sorts of experts hide. It is likely going to be quite difficult to kill him. The white cloth, old man smiled as he reassured her. His words held Xiao Yin in high regard. Han Shui nodded slightly. Her hand pulled aside the black hair on her forehead while her bright eyes revealed sentimental thought as she looked to the sky. Her elder sister was right. This person was really too outstanding. He was so outstanding that very few women could hold on to him. The energy storm raged brutally within the mountain range. It continued for over 10 minutes before it gradually weakened. During this period of time, Xiao Yan's figure continued to remain in the sky. His eyes were also gradually shut. A whistling wild wind blew over the mountain range, carrying some dust with it. At this moment, the originally lush green forest had completely turned into a muddy color. Xiao Yan in the sky finally opened his eyes when the last wisp of energy storm slowly disappeared. His gaze slowly swept over the mountain range below which had become extremely chaotic. Finally, he gently landed and his footsteps slowly walked to the spot where Chen Yun had self-destructed earlier. An enormous pit that was a couple of hundred feet in size had appeared at that spot. The black darkness was such that one could not see the bottom at a glance. Xiao Yan's gaze swept over the pit. His footsteps suddenly turned and he arrived at a spot near the enormous pit. There was a swaying withered tree located at that spot. Cheyenne's hand slowly rubbed the withered tree while a cold smile was suddenly lifted onto the corner of his mouth. His palm was violently thrown forward and the withered tree burst apart. Wooden chips flew and an illusionary spirit fled from it in panic. It flew toward the sky. However, it had just moved when the surrounding space suddenly solidified. Elder Chin is really quite scheming. 
allowing your body to self-destruct while a threat of your soul fled. Unfortunately, Xiaoyin smiled, looked at the illusionary spirit, and softly spoke. Xiaoyin, don't kill me. We can sit down and talk properly. You don't wish to offend the Wind Lightning Pavilion in this manner, do you? The spirit had just been trapped when it immediately transformed into Chin Yun's illusionary face. At this moment, his eyes contained a genuine fear. If this threat of soul were destroyed by Xiao Yin, he would truly be finished. I don't wish to reach such a stage too. However, all of this is because you have forced me, Xiao Yin softly sighed. He extended his hand and immediately grabbed Chin Yun's soul. Little bastard, the Wind Lightning Pavilion will not let you off. Just wait for your death. Chin Yun cursed viciously upon sensing Xiao Yan's killing intent. Xiao Yan was expressionless. He tightened his hand and Chin Yun's soul suddenly exploded. It immediately transformed into light spots before disappearing. Looking at the scattering spiritual light spots, Xiao Yan knew that this elder of the Wind Lightning Pavilion had gave his last farewell to this world. He is careful and does not leave any room for his enemy to escape. This fellow is not an ordinary person. The White Cloth Old man suddenly sighed and spoke while standing on the mountain top. Han Shui stood uncertainly by his side and blinked her eyes. She did not witness the scene where Xiao Yin destroyed Xin Yun's soul. However, she felt that her great grandfather, who possessed impossible expectations, seemed to give Xiao Yin a very high evaluation. Old sir has praised me too much. I am merely unwilling to allow some trouble to follow me again. A faint laugh suddenly sounded on the mountain top. Immediately, Xiao Yan's figure slowly appeared in front of the white-clothed, old man. Han Shui immediately cried out joyfully upon seeing Xiao Yan appear. The white-clothed, old man also smiled. However, his feet had shifted forward by half a step without leaving a trace, vaguely blocking Han Shui behind him as he did so. He had personally witnessed Xiao Yan kill Chen Yun. It was likely that this matter would bring about quite a lot of trouble for Xiao Yan if it were to spread. After seeing Xiao Yan's vicious tactics earlier, the white clothed, old man did not treat Xiao Yan as a kind person. Old sir need not be so cautious. Xiao Yan is not a bloodthirsty person. Moreover, I omit swear my gratitude. Repaying kindness with revenge is not something that I can do. Xiao Yan softly laughed. Although the actions of the white clothed, old man were extremely small, it did not escape Xiao Yan in his current condition. The white clothed, Old man felt somewhat embarrassed upon hearing this. He cupped his hand together and said, The old me is Han Fei. Xiao Yin greets old Mr. Han. Xiao Yin cupped his hands together and replied with a grin. Kuku, the old me is unworthy of such a big greeting. Han Fei waved his hands before solemnly saying, We will not say anything about the matter today. However, it is likely that Hong Tian Xiao will make it public. At that time, you will need to be careful of the Wind Lightning Pavilion. Thank you for your warning, old Mr. Han. Xiao Yan nodded. It was not that he did not wish to chase after Hong Tian Xiao. However, he was unable to maintain this condition for long. Once Tian Huazunja withdraw the spiritual strength, it was likely that Xiao Yan's would experience a weary phase because of the overly powerful energy. How could he kill Hong Tian Xiao in that state? Since young friend Xiao Yan is aware of it, the old me shall not say anything more. I will bid you goodbye today. If there is an opportunity in the future, I will come and seek some advice from young friend. Han Fei beamed. His gaze swept around him and knew that this was not a place that one should stay for long. Finally, he cupped his hands and spoke. Shayan smiled and nodded. You, you should be careful. Han Shui bit her lower red lip with the back of her teeth and whispered when she saw that they were about to leave. Shayan grinned and said, you should also take care. Han Fei by the side laughed bitterly in his heart upon seeing this situation. He pulled Han Shui along as his figure moved and rushed toward a distant mountain range. Be careful of the Wind Lightning Pavilion. It is best for you to leave the northern region of the Central Plains as soon as possible. Xiao Yin looked at Han Fei and Han Shui who had disappeared into the distance when a faint gentle voice drifted over with the wind. Xiao Yin exhaled a gentle breath. His eyes watched the two figures as they disappeared into the horizon. He also turned his body and flew to another side of the mountain range. The current him needed to quickly raise his strength. It was time to consume that mighty Huang pill. However, he was unaware how much this medicinal pill would raise his strength. Enormous trees rose into the sky within a lush green mountain range. 
These large trees, that had grown for hundreds or thousands of years, were usually able to grow to a height of a couple hundred meters tall. They were the largest living beings in the mountain range. Even sunlight was blocked by their huge leaves. Hardly anyone was present in this place. Occasionally, the roar of a magical beast would appear, frightening off the many birds resting in the forest. The panicked fluttering of wings would form a white figure that spread over the sky, appearing majestic. There was a tall mountain peak that jutted into the sky within the vast mountain range. The mountain peak was not very large, but it was extremely steep. Its walls were nearly vertical, and its precipitous mountain peak was extremely smooth. Unless could fly, an ordinary magical beast would have difficulty ascending it. Clouds lingered over the peak of the mountain while a young man sat cross-legged on it. A silver-colored human figure was sitting straight beside the young man. The figure's body did not move even a little while its empty hole-like eyes slowly swept around him. It instantaneously killed anything that approached the mountain peak regardless of whether it was a person or magical beast, acting like the perfect bodyguard. The young man maintained this posture for around two hours before he slowly opened his eyes. His somewhat pale white face gradually recovered a little redness. Little fellow, your strength is too weak. However, it is fortunate that your body is tough. Otherwise, it would have been difficult to endure the pouring of my spiritual strength. A laughter sounded within Xiaoyan's heart when he opened his eyes. Xiaoyan grinned and asked, Old Mr. Yao, what level has your strength recovered to? Around that of an eight-star dozo. Any increase in the future will be extremely difficult. Any attempt to return to the Dozun class will require a physical body that would fit my spirit extremely well. Tian was Zunjim used for a moment before laughing somewhat cunningly. He he, however, little fellow, we agreed earlier that you would help the old me resolve the matter of a physical body. Xiaoyan smiled involuntarily when he heard this. Tian was Zunjia was a great help. If Xiaoyan could allow him to recover to the strength of a Dozun, it would definitely be beneficial for him. On this point, Xiaoyan would naturally lend a hand without holding back. The original body has the most perfect degree of fitting with one's soul. If a soul were to randomly occupy a physical body, it is likely that the effects would be quite poor. Hence, a body can only be specifically refined, Xiaoyan softly explained. Yao Lao had once mentioned to Xiaoyan the method to refine a body. Hence, as long as Xiaoyan found the necessary ingredients, he should be able to refine one with his current level. I shall leave the matter of the refinement to you. Remember, you must make the best one for the old me. Don't cut corners. Although I have never refined a body, I am also aware that the strength of the ingredients is very important. It will also determine one's achievement in the future. Tian Huizunja laughed. Old Mr. Yao, please rest assured that Xiao Yin will definitely help you refine the best body. Xiao Yin beamed as he replied. He he, it's best if this is the case. Little fellow. You can rest assured that the old me will not let you fall into any danger of losing your life before you refine the body for me. Tian Huizunja laughed out loud. His heart did indeed feel a gratitude to Xiao Yin. If Xiao Yin had brought him out from that magma world, it was likely that he would have long since turned into nothingness. How could he possess his current grandness then? Moreover, he might even possess his own body in the future and once again feel the wonderful feeling of once again being human. Xiaoyan smiled when he heard these words. With this expert protecting him, he would be in possession of quite a large amount of capital that would allow him to feel extremely safe when roaming the central plains. However, even with this talisman, raising his own strength was still the most important matter. After all, he could not borrow the strength of others all the time. Xiaoyan mused for a moment as a smile formed. He moved his hand and an emerald-like jade bottle appeared in his hand. He tilted the bottle and a medicinal pill the size of a dragon's eye rolled out. Immediately, an unusual fragrance scattered, commanding everyone's attention. This medicinal pill was naturally the Mighty Huang pill. Moreover, it was the best quality pill among those Mighty Huang pills that Xiao Yin had refined. He did not take it out to be auctioned. Instead, he had kept it in preparation for his own use. Now, it was coincidentally able to come in handy. The use of the mighty Huang pill was able to let an elite Do Huang raise his strength by one or even two stars. However, this also depended on luck. Something like one strength not even raising after consuming the mighty Huang pill had happened before. Moreover, the unlucky thing was that even if they failed, 
this thing would similarly no longer possess any effect when they consumed it a second time. Hence, the people who consumed the mighty Huang pill would usually pray in their hearts that they would not end up meeting such an unlucky incident. The medicinal pill slowly rolled on Xiao Yan's hand. A moment later, he gently exhaled a breath, widened his mouth, and swiftly stuffed the medicinal pill into it. The mighty Huang pill immediately melted upon entering Xiao Yan's mouth, transforming into a somewhat warm, powerful medicinal strength that wildly surged into Xiao Yan's body. Following the surging in of the great amount of pure medicinal strength, the corner of Xiao Yan's mouth also twitched. It was fortunate that his veins were tough. Otherwise, he would have difficulty consuming such a large amount of medicinal strength in one go. Xiao Yan gently inhaled a breath of air when the medicinal strength swiftly surged and flowed into all his veins. A thought passed through his mind and the glazed lotus heart flame surged around his body. Immediately, the flames charged into his veins and swiftly wrapped around the enormous medicinal strength. After which, it forcefully pulled this wild horse-like fellow. Following the root of the flame mantra qi method, it slowly began to circulate. The space around Xiao Yin and the outside world began to ripple intensely when the medicinal strength surged within Xiao Yan's body. Wave after wave of energy appeared before agglomerating into an energy swirl in the space above his head. Finally, the energy slowly seeped into him through the top of his head. Being in possession of a heavenly flame made refining the modeled energy from nature an easy matter for Xiao Yan. He was able to refine whatever came regardless of the quantity involved. Everything slowly came on track, following the gradual activation of the medicinal strength within his body. The medicinal strength of the mighty Huang pill might be great, but it was insufficient to cause the current Xiao Yin to feel any panic with his current ability. Everything proceeded extremely smoothly. Whether the mighty Huang pill was able to raise Xiao Yin's strength by one or two stars would depend on the results when the time came. The mountain peak had become quiet after Xiao Yin entered into a slow refining state. Only the earth demon puppet beside him continued its sentry duty. The Chifeng Mountains were quite renowned within the northern region of the Central Plains. The reason was not because there was a phoenix within it. Instead, this was the place where the wind lightning northern pavilion stood. Chifeng Mountains were extremely arduous in nature. The precipitous mountain peaks were covered in a layer of fog that left one with a paradise-like feeling. The peak of Chifeng Mountain seemed to have been hacked into two by an enormous axe. There were numerous partially visible buildings hidden within the lush greenery. The most eye-catching part of the entire mountain peak was the enormous silver-colored pagoda that was located on the highest peak. This enormous pagoda, that rushed into the sky, was named North Lightning Tower. Its body was covered by a bright silver color. One could faintly hear the slight sound of rumbling thunder emitted from it. This was the sacred training ground of the Wind Lightning Northern Pavilion. Only the most outstanding people could obtain the qualification to enter it and train. On the highest level of the North Lightning Tower was a spacious hall. At this moment, a number of people were sitting within it. Wave after wave of majestic strength permeated the room, causing the guards standing outside of the hall to tremble in fear. Elder Yun's spiritual lightning tablet has already broken. A silver-colored leader's seat was located in the middle of the hall. Faint lightning glows moved along the chair spreading in all directions. A silver-clothed figure was leaning on the backrest of a chair while his silver eyes slowly swept below him. Finally, a faint voice reverberated across the hall. His voice was not too loud but had a strong pressuring feeling. No one dared to underestimate him. Three old men with different clothes in the hall immediately reacted when these words sounded. They had a clear idea of what a spiritual lightning tablet was. A thread of their spiritual imprint was stored inside. Should they unluckily die one day, this spiritual lightning tablet would also shatter. If this was the case, Chen Yun, there is actually someone who dares to attack a person from our wind lightning northern pavilion within the northern region of the central plains? Don't tell me that it is someone from the 10,000 sword pavilion? A black clothed, old man with two long silver colored eyebrows spoke in a solemn manner. We are temporarily unaware of who it is. This time, Elder Yun had accompanied Hong Chen to Tian Bay City. No? Fong, Le, Dian. You three elders should investigate just what happened. Capture the person who attacked regardless of who he is, even if he is someone from the 10,000 Sword Pavilion. The members of our Wind Lightning Northern Pavilion are not people who can be killed so easily. The silver-clothed human figure on the leader's seat slowly commanded. 
The three old men immediately stood up and respectfully replied. After which, they transformed into light figures that rushed away before swiftly disappearing. The large hall once again became empty and quiet after these three old men disappeared. A moment later, the human figure on the leader's seat slowly stood up. He gently waved his sleeves and rumbling thunder resounded across the hall. It is really a bold move to touch the people from my wind lightning pavilion in this place. I will likely be laughed at by those two fellows if I don't locate you.